Hello, is it me you're looking for? Hi. Um, so last night I went to see a friend perform at a local nightclub, and it was totally fantastic. And afterwards, like after all concerts and shows of any sort, there's kind of this mingly, buzzy moment where everyone is kind of talking and working their way out of the room, and I perform a lot. And so in those moments, after my shows, uh, you get in the habit of just saying, thank you, thank you for coming, thank you, thank you for coming. And it's not that I don't mean it, it's just you say it a lot. So you go on autopilot a little bit, there's no way you can't. Um, so last night, after my friend's performance, um, it was the buzzy, mingly moment, and then I feel a tap on my shoulder, and I turn around, and it's her. And the, the first thing out of my mouth is, thank you for coming, <laughs> to her. And I felt like an asshole. Um, but I guess that's funny, sort of. And uh, But I would like to highly recommend, if you have... Uh, nothing to do on a Wednesday night, or even if you do have something to do on a Wednesday night, cancel that shit and go see Shalene Newman uh, perform at the Listening Room if you live in Nashville. Wednesday nights, every Wednesday night. Really cool. It's she's doing this kind of Broadway show tune reworked into a modern rock thing. It's uh, really good, especially if you love that kind of music. Uh, it's a really classy evening. And now I'm going to read you a short story that I've written recently. It's called All the Young Dudes. <clears throat> Focus. I'm so gassy today. Recently, during one of my occasional dance club appearances, a visibly young dude was being very flirty with me. A big magic marker X signifying not of age across the back of his hand. I wasn't interested. I'm very thankful that my taste in mates has aged with me. Of course the third or fourth question he posed to me after having a good time, it's a cool hat, where'd you get it, was how old are you? And just to play with him I said 42 expecting a quick pause before, no you're not, and then he would laugh and I would give my best Cheshire cat face. Instead, he came back with, you look really good. Thanks. I took a sip of my gin and tonic. How old are you? Nineteen, he said, and then with not even a flash of self-awareness. Is that intimidating? with a smirk as though I was surely the luckiest motherfucker on the block. No one was a more arrogant nineteen-year-old than myself. I could see so clearly in the future, and I knew that by thirty I would have accomplished absolutely everything. Unlike most thirty-year-olds, I had observed, I will never be like that dude. Most people past twenty-nine just didn't get it. They were sad and fat, and probably spent most of their time beating off in public restrooms with a pair of stolen panties on their head, crying, and eating donuts. So lame. It's easy to imagine oneself as the winner before the contest has even started. Someday, we all learn, you will get a divorce, and then you will get cancer. Your child will die in a freak trash compactor accident. And then you will develop an accidental dependency on painkillers. Your business will fail and you'll be forced to declare bankruptcy. You will sink into depression. And suddenly you're 30 pounds overweight. How did that happen? Facing the black. No turning back. Not because you're lame, but because Life is hard. So to all the young dudes, turn to either side of you, your dorm room mate, your fraternity brother, co-worker. They are your loser friends of tomorrow. And then look in the mirror and see into the future. And then cut us old people some motherfucking slack. After a silence that turned awkward, I turned to my 19-year-old suitor, leaning in close to overcome the monotonous thud of techno music. 
Nice to meet you. Have a good life. <laughs>